His Royal Highness Deputy of His Majesty the King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the outgoing Italian ambassador, Alberto Vici, at Rafa Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness praised the strength and depth of relations between Bahrain and Italy across a range of sectors and noted Italy's supportive role on regional issues and more broadly in strengthening international peace and security. His Royal Highness acknowledged the outgoing Italian ambassador's efforts and his contribution to furthering Bahraini Italian ties. He noted the various bilateral visits which had significantly strengthened cooperation, especially in the economic, trade, and investment fields. His Royal Highness expressed Bahrain's keenness to further enhance bilateral relations and expand cooperation across various sectors. During the meeting, His Royal Highness and the Ambassador also discussed issues relating to bilateral relations and cooperation and reviewed various regional and international issues. The Deputy King then wished the Ambassador success in his future tasks and duties. For his part, the outgoing Italian Ambassador extended his thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's steadfast support in developing and strengthening ties between the two countries and wished the Kingdom of Bahrain and its citizens continued progress and prosperity. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Board of Trustee of Royal Charity Organisation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, lauded the care and keenness of His Majesty the King for the orphans, including having the share of excellent education, care and services. This came during an event marking the 13th celebration of honouring graduates, which was organised by the Royal Charity Organisation. 450 students were honoured, representing different levels of the RCO education programme. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad conveyed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his care and concern for Bahraini orphans, wishing His Majesty health and happiness. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated the graduates and their parents for the accomplishments made, calling upon the orphans to continue their efforts and use knowledge as a means for building and developing the kingdom, moving the country towards further prosperity. He added that the country enjoys the wise leadership of His Majesty the King, the support of the government of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, First Deputy Premier. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also lauded the cooperation extended by the Ministry of Education and other government educational bodies to the RCO, which contributed to providing the appropriate education environment for the students, which is in line with His Majesty the King's vision for supporting charity work and building a society that is based on solidarity. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Head of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, deputised the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Mr Hisham Al Jada, to open the Sport City 2030 activities, which was organised by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs in cooperation with its partner, Tam Keen. On such occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad affirmed on the keenness of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport to execute the directives of His Majesty the King to train Bahraini youth, qualifying them to get involved in the local market. Such training provides the youth with professional knowledge and skills needed to serve the Kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad highlighted that the Youth City 2030 affirms the direction which focuses on training the Bahraini youth through cooperation of the relevant bodies so that a solid foundation is provided before the youth, enabling them to enter the labour market with confidence. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that Sports City, since its launch, has contributed in eliminating barriers for youths, providing them strong training and a knowledge base to prepare them for the labour market. He went on to say that Sports City has managed to qualify and prepare youths throughout the years in cooperation with Tam Keen. He highlighted the importance of developing youth leadership, grooming their talents and skills, which enables them to play an important role in moving the labour market and its forces forward. He also asserted on the role the Sports City 2030 plays in enhancing the role of youth in serving society and encouraging them to serve both the government and the private sectors. 
The seventh edition of Youth City 2030, organised by the Ministry of Youth and Sports in cooperation with Tan Keen under the patronage of His Majesty's Representative for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has been officially opened by Youth and Sports Minister Hisham Al Jouda and Tan Keen Chief Executive Dr. Ibrahim Janahi. More now in this report with Daniel Deporto. Bahrain's ultimate summer school for youths aged 9 and upwards, Youth City 2030, is backed by popular demand at the Bahrain International Exhibition Centre. Now in its seventh edition, Youth City continues to expand its offerings year on year, providing a wide range of programmes across four colleges. This year we have around uh, 80 programmes, while last year we had a bit uh, uh, more than 60 programs. We have here four centers, um, leadership, uh, art center, uh, science and technology and media. So everyone has some uh, skill or interest can fit in any, anywhere here in, in New York City. Being engaged in the city for six years has been very interesting because uh, the, the age limit is around 23. So you, you've got people who've actually I've seen them timid and at the age of 17 or 16 and now they're, they're, they're out there. They're actually business owners. Some of our success stories in Temkin have been graduates of this youth city. Over the course of six weeks, up to 2,000 girls and boys will take classes at Youth City, which serves as an educational career guidance platform covering all sectors and emerging industries. Who prepares youngsters to enter into the market? Schools, the education system, and Temkin has a huge role in this uh, domain. Therefore, this is our sixth year where we sponsor this whole city uh, with the management of the Ministry of Youth in order to um, give all these young people that you see around you the opportunity to actually learn something new, to discover their potential, to discover what they really, their talents and what they would like to do and try different things in life until they really find what their careers should be. In each edition, the Youth City Initiative has recalibrated itself in order to be responsive to the current needs of the business world and the future workforce. The programmes are being delivered by experts in their fields and have been curated in consultation with the students themselves. We have meetings with, uh, with the students and also in designing the, the programs. And also we have a program in, in the Ministry of uh, Youth and Sports that is called uh, Sotkom Mesmo, your, your, sound, your, your voice is heard. So we, we take suggestions and uh, any recommendations. Youth City is one aspect of a much broader ecosystem of initiatives and agencies providing platforms for young Bahrainis to develop themselves and to become active participants in progressing Bahrain's economy and society. Applications were open to all on a first-come, first-served basis, and judging by its popularity, the next edition of Youth City ought to be even grander. My call for the youth is, is, is the opportunities are out there, you just have to look for them, take them, grab them and we're here for you. A common ethos amongst the youth today is to love what you do and to do what you love. And Youth City provides the opportunity for these youngsters to really hone their skills and furthermore provides them with a very inspirational environment in which to do this. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto. The Ministry of Housing continued its efforts to complete implementation of the Royal Directives of His Royal Highness the Deputy of His Majesty the King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to distribute 3,000 residential units across Bahrain as soon as possible. The Ministry confirmed that it had intensified work to speed up construction and finishing of housing projects, saying the first 1,000 units in the Nabi Saleh housing project had been distributed to beneficiaries. The Ministry added that it has also presented ownership deeds for the al project and a number of units in the Southern Governorate projects. It said these residential units are parts of the Government's action plan to build 25,000 units before the end of 2018, in line with His Majesty the King's directives to construct 40,000 housing units. The Housing Ministry also said that over the next few days it would hand over several units in the Demistan and Northern City projects, as well as Tubli and Citra, in addition to Huneniya, Askar, Jo and Arad. The directives of His Royal Highness, 
برنس سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة the crown prince to distribute 3,000 units today the ministry have completed the distribution of the Nabi Saleh projects by this the ministry managed to complete and distribute about 1,000 units out of 3,000 as per the approved plan.